Yo, what's good? You already know what time it is. What time it is is for me to talk on some real stuff um, out here. Now, some people don't take this YouTube game seriously. Just like they don't take any game seriously. I hear so much crap about the rap game. There's so much talk about a lot of elements that are out here, that are real, that affect people. Whether people want to admit it or not. Just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean it's not real out here. That's on some mini matrix stats. Anyways, this video is a direct response. I it's I don't often do response videos I, for a lot of reasons. Um, I have, number one, I have so much content. If I really consider all the content, I have easily 100 to 200 videos. Easily to do. Easily. And that's not including a lot of the stuff I have back though, to be done. Okay, I mean, probably as many as 500 videos, I'm not even up front. But, why well, bring this up? Because this is all part of this discussion, this of this subject, right? And the response video is directly related to Edman, my dog Edman. Shout out to my homie. Shout out to Edman. I told him I was going to do this video response. I like his video, and which will be linked uh, in the description box below. I really do like his video. He presented the log his logic and reason very well, as he always does. He articulated. He, you know, wasn't the most eloquently, but he didn't have to be. This isn't the most eloquent subject matter. Okay. But it's an important one. Because he he's talking about the YouTube come up. And what a lot of people don't recognize about YouTube is YouTube is the best example of society will strip away all the foolishness strip away the wealth strip away to a degree because the wealth has entered the game but strip that away strip away uh, background strip away social status strip away all the confines that you can think of age all that sex doesn't really matter we come here and it's the best look into the way society rocks now I told you I really liked this video. I told him there were a few points, key points that he missed in understanding of what's really going on out here and what people are really saying. Now, mind you, I've heard all the arguments. I've been in the YouTube game just about as long, if not longer than anybody that you can think of. Consistently been in the YouTube game. And the reason I say I've been in the game is I know a lot of people watch videos on YouTube. I have avidly watched videos. I'm talking about how many hours worth of YouTube videos have I watched in my time? Oh jeez, probably five, at least five legitimate chronological years worth of material. I would not be surprised of what my eyeballs have witnessed, okay? The, the amount of content, the amount of hours my channel, my channel has produced is Comparatively to most channels, astronomical. Hell, you could probably fit a good five channels offhand into the amount of time has gone into my channels. The amount of content, the amount of videos that I've made. I have the right to speak on this. I have the clout to speak on this. Not as a subscriber. Now, people gotta understand something. Here, here's one of the key points, okay? He mentioned dudes with clout. Clout isn't just your subscriber. Excuse me. Your clout isn't just your subscriber count. Okay. A lot of people want to try to say, "Oh, we got a lot of subscribers, so he must be." How many subscribers are true fans or consistent fans? Number one. How well known is he in his specific, his or her specific community? Number two. And number three, how well known is this individual on YouTube? Or, you know, if it's in the game. I know for myself, even though I almost finally had 500 subs, right? I know I have more clout. I have more, no more notoriety. Be way more notorious. Be way more famous than a lot of dudes who are even triple mine. You know, sub count. Or I'm just as famous as them. You know, I'm not as famous as maybe in the YouTube anime manga community. It's just James Hansen, for example. And there's a lot of reasons as to why that is. But 
as far as the fan base, I have a consistent fan base. I have consistent numbers about who watches. And you can say, well, you know, your low number. When almost every single one of your videos, except for a few which blown up, actually several have blown up. And I don't really talk about it, but I've had, I've hit thousands. Videos, some of the videos I didn't even expect. But I've, I've hit some good video view counts. You would never think of it just by my subscriber count. But I've had some good view counts. Okay? And being that said, that matters. I'm known. I talk. I have connections. I've said this time and time again. This is not a bragging, but this is factual stuff. What I say, others, I debate with some of the dudes. Some of the talk, though. I will go ahead. I've gone heads up. I'll go back and, and I've talked. Dude, you know, I have connections in the community. A lot of people can't say that. So that's one of the things you got to consider. And, and I know what Ed's talking about to come up again. But that's something that needs to be understood. I'm an, at least, to say the least, very least, an OG. If not a double I consider myself a YouTube man, man, mom community, a double OG. That's what it is. I almost was in the gaming community years ago. I opted out because I was huge in the game, video game. And I still need to get back into it. I still need to do more gaming content on my, on my channel, at least with discussions on that. But there's a lot of reasons why I stepped off um, of that community as well as I, I've gone away from video gaming. That's a whole other topic for a long time. But the thing is, man, having clout in your community isn't just about subscribers. There's some who got a bunch of subscribers, got no kind of clout. Hell, I don't even know who they are. And if I don't know who you are, and others, you know, like myself, old timers don't know who you are, I'm an old timer by this point. That's the reality. I remember when some of the originators of the community, I remember that, were going at it. So, to have clout is, you know, there's a lot of up and coming, you know, dudes and they, they hit, please, plenty past my sub count. But why is it that they're passing my sub count? Is it because people are actually putting forth legit content? And I'm not knocking because there are some channels that are up and coming and I, I'm sub to. Sub to some of the old timers, I'm sub to some of the new upcomers. So it's, it, it's not discriminatory. What I'm saying is why are they coming up? That's one of the key things that Ed uh, failed to address. And, you know... He, he tried to be neutral because that's the that's the position he takes. Sometimes he he doesn't uh, take a position of neutrality, but the, you know his his base neutrality did not account for that factor. Why did they come up? You you know he was talking he was talking about you know people always going to come up you know the wealth and the money, which is a valid point. I'm not knocking that. He's a very legitimate point, but. The reason why people, because no one has any problem with people chasing that money. Anyone who has problem with people chasing that money need to get the hell out of the game. Period. Hell, if I can make it a living off of YouTube, you're damn right I would. You're damn right. I'm glad that dudes like Forever in the YouTube man and man community, community, Chibi, you know, other dudes getting paid. What you mean? What you mean? I'm glad that a dude like Dame Drops came up. I'm glad that a dude like Tyrone Magnus. I've been repping some of these dudes for a while. I'm glad that they came up. Some of them I came on later. I'm glad because if you have valuable content, you should be compensated. And if it comes in the form of monetary, all for it. I'm all for it. Especially when some of these frauds out here are getting buku bucks. The problem is... It's not that they're coming up. It's the problem of the quality of the content. This is what this this whole thing has been argued for years about. The quality of the content. Now, he was he was touching upon it, but he didn't delve into it. The quality of the content. We don't care if you come up, if you got quality content. Guys like me are going to appreciate that. It's the same thing with old timers when, when they see some of these young players in whatever sport it is come up. See a young actor or actress come up. See a young musician, rapper, whoever it may be, come up. Because the dude's legit and so in the future as a phenom. We praise that. But we don't praise foolishness. Come into the game, wreck the, the meaning of the fabric. And then here's the problem. That this leads to a, 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 ter, uh, a corollary, okay, if you will. 
on a mathematical. For those who don't understand what corollary, it's it's like a branch that extends that uh, from the main branch, if you will. Keep things simple. A corollary, a correlated point to that is that not only is it how they come up, but the impact it has on the community. It, you know, we're not even talking. You address the oversaturation, that was valid, but it dumbs down the quality of the of the community. It makes the community way less respectable. Come on, we know where the gaming community has been a joke for years. The YouTube and anime and manga community became a damn joke. And I'm, I'm one of the, the most avid persons on it. And I criticize it. When you have your own members criticizing the other members, not the other members, but the community itself, you know that's a damn problem. There's no doubt about it that, that you cannot accept it. There must be criteria that is acceptable. But people just want to allow people to do what they do in, in opinions and everything. It doesn't work like that. You go back to the age of the guilds. People are like, where are you coming with this? Go back to guilds. And for those who don't know, the age of the guilds is going back into like late medieval period. And where you had your print, uh, apprentice, your journeyman, and your master. And it was about the quality of your work. You couldn't become a master in any old way just because you got experience, because you had time. No, you had to bring forth quality. And that's how you would judge. You presented a masterpiece. If you didn't rock with a masterpiece, you didn't become a master. In the same sense, YouTube should be about that. But no, just because you get views, just because you get subs, just because you know people quote unquote like you. Now, you gotta understand something about YouTube that that tells the truth. Okay, it it reminds me, you know, the series I'm reading, Dad Two, where they talk about views. Even though Dad Two's content's a little bit different, if you know the story, and you understand why it has the views that it has, it because it's actually about the best, if you will. But, you know what the best is you know of course that's a subject for debate but it's about the best with YouTube how many times do you see subs and then you see lower videos bunch of subs lower video comes. and you can say well no of course not all the subs are gonna and then when we see these dudes who put forth the legitimate content and put forth legit videos how many times do their sub counts and their views line up you ever notice that you ever notice that it's a consistent quality, their quality, high quality, has consistent. Low quality has these valleys and hills. You ever notice that? You ever notice that how many, the lifespan of the fakes versus the real? You ever notice that? The only time the reels go out is because life gets in the way, because they don't lost the passion because they've probably been hounded and harassed and whatnot. Or... You know, some unforeseen, you know, they just retire for whatever reason. Look at the lifespan of the real. Look at the lifespan of the fake. And I'm not just talking about upcoming. I'm talking about who really be about that. Now, there will be some that are just in it for the money. And they're going to continue to be in it for the money. But... You can clearly see the passion dies. You can clearly see that they're focused. They run out of material. The people run out of material. The people run out of, you know, quality content. They start getting called out by everybody. And while they may be, that person may be big, it's become a joke now. That's a key point you missed. The longevity of these. So, you see, the problem is the impact. The, the, the overall point of this video, if, if I were to summarize this and, and, and wrap this all up, is the impact that falsehood brings forth into a community, into a society, into YouTube, okay? It's all about falsehood and its impact. That's what all this whole discussion is. That's why you have people out here fall, uh, frustrated, some salty, some, you know, rant. And some of their points are clearly aren't justifiable. Some of it is a self-interest. I have no self-interest in the game. My channel, in fact, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yeah, I would like more sub. Yeah, I would definitely like to get money. I'm not, I'm not at this point, I'm not going to lie. I need it. No. <laughs> I got bills to pay. I got bills. You know, I'm trying to do things with my life. You know, trying to help. Hell, if this could become a career, that'd be great. I, I could very much 
use it or at least a side job, something, you know, that'd be, that'd be cool. But the reality is I'm here to stay. I've I said that before the beginning, before I knew anything about money off of YouTube, before it, there was a Google AdSense or anything else. A lot of these dudes came in the game just for strictly that. And it's like, where's the genuine, you, you gotta start questioning people's sincerity. You gotta start questioning their genuine motives, okay? And if you're not genuine, it will begin to show. See, that's the, that's the matter of the fact. Again, falsehood and its impact into it. And then what happens when they're gone and then they, they leave and they leave a hole in uh, the very integrity of the framework of the structure of the community? You know, that there's, some, there's some important um, questions that need to be addressed. There's important answers that need to be given. You know, we don't want to, this is what society, human society has always done. We shy, human society shies away from these difficult questions. It does not desire to go to these answers. It just backs off. When it, when it gets too hot, we're going to back off. Instead of engaging the controversy, instead of engaging the hostile when it needs to be engaged. I don't expect to want to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this. Some may say I'm making too big a deal out of it, but... When you sit back and observe as long as I have, it becomes clear. I've called out. Others have called out. Others try to come from my head daily because they think I'm crazy and whack. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm still going to be here. They know I'm going to be here. That's why they still try to come at me. That's why they still try to come at others. Because they recognize the validity of it and all that's left is insults. While on the fakes, who knows how long they're going to be here. They can't handle the pressure. They can't handle the harassment. In fact, they don't get that. All they get is praise. That's a great way, a great litmus test to tell who's fake and who's real. Those who get nothing but fanboyistic praise versus those who deal with harassment for coming out here and telling it how it is and what it is and what it ain't. Whether people agree or not, they're going to tell it what it is and what it ain't was real out here. Alright y'all, a beautiful day, beautiful night.